Mark, we would like to welcome Father Berman to the podium. Let us big, give him a big round of applause. And I can talk to you about Father Berman. Thank you so much. Uh, your good name, Yosef. Thanks for giving me this opportunity and uh, according me a warm welcome amidst all our young people here. And this coming together is to tell you, dear friends, that you are the now of God, now of the church, not tomorrow of the church, not the future of the church that comes after now, that comes after now. So let's take that now of the church and the question may arise, how, how? The how can be answered by saying yes like Mary, the fiat. In Luke chapter 1 verse 39, you read 38, 39. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your will. Now it's a time for you and all of us to say that we are called to be the now, manta. I don't know further. <laughs> Yes, we are called to be the now of the church, not tomorrow. You know, many of us do say, I will study tomorrow. I will do it tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Analysis, analysis, analysis will lead us to paralysis. <laughs> Lie up. <laughs> no. That's why we say procrastination. In English, procrastination means postponement. No. Ngale la I will do it tomorrow. No, that is the most dangerous disease. The most dangerous disease. It is said procrastination or postponement is a cancer. Cancer. Come, come, cancer. Don't want that. The church doesn't want cancer. The church doesn't want young people to be cancerous. We want the young people, the church to be blooming. Bloom. Groom in the church. You are being groomed in the church. Bloom in the church. And not doom. Not doom. We say doom, damn, doom, damn. You are the now. Give your time. Give your talents. Give your everything for the church. It is said. Hard work can beat talent when talent doesn't work hard. Hard work can be talent when talent doesn't work hard. I may be talented, very talented, extremely talented, but I don't work hard. I will be beaten. I will be beaten. So today, this is where the Lord is calling us. So beautiful words that we have, theme that we have. Mano bandra kubor nakabanta jongi kumta ngala jubab ngadon mga topayanga. Here I am. Send me, O Lord. Mado ngadon mga topayanga. Here I am. Send me, O Lord. Each one of you, me, you, all of us are answering this. Let's today say, Here I am. Send me, O Lord. All of us need to let this, let this be cited, recited, cited, recited, and also incited. We are incited with so many things that lure us, attract us. But today, the word of God has to incite us, attract us, lure us. Today, we need young people. Please come forward. Please come forward. The Lord is telling you, come forward. I will take you onward. I will take you onward. Which onward? Onward to. Onward to Him. All of us are called to face Him. In the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 4, that says, see my face. See my face. The Lord says, look at my face and my name will be written on your forehead. And then there is no need of lamplight or sunlight. My light is enough. My light is labiang. For you, my light is enough. Yes. 
We need Jesus. Here I am. Send me, O oh Lord. Let's all say, Here I am. Send me, O oh Lord. What does this mean? Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8. What is happening? The days when King Uzziah died. Now, Isaiah comes into the temple. Isaiah is coming into the temple. And when he steps into the temple, he sees, he sees angels there. Of course, the king is seated there. And the angels there are fanning, fanning, fanning. With six, six wings. Each angel has got six wings. Two wings to, uh, to fan at the face. Two wings to fan the shoes or the feet. And two wings to suspend them in the air. To suspend them in the air. When Isaiah came in, he said, Oh God! I'm in a holy place. Bakoid, Jaka Bakoid. I'm in a holy place. I am an unholy man. I am an unholy man. Don Bun Pap. Pop, no? Not Pap, Pop. In Hindi, Pap. Here, Pop. And uh, we, English, we all, young boys nowadays, we don't say no. We say nope, nope. <laughs> Will you do it? Nope, nope. So, I'm in an unholy holy place and I am an unholy man. See, he accepted. He accepted that I am an unholy man. And that moment, that moment, one of the angels comes and brings the tongue. Charcoal, charcoal, koila, koila. Huh? Koila. Brings the charcoal, the ember, and then puts it onto the lips of Isaiah. Puts it onto the lips of Isaiah. And now Isaiah is made whole, but quit, now washed and made clean. And then he says, oh God, I am now made whole, cleansed. Then the Lord asked, whom shall I send? And Isaiah says, here I am, send me your Lord. When Isaiah came into the temple, this is what he did, repent. And when he repented, the angels and saints were singing, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. That is the time the tremor happened. Tremor happened. In your life, my life, we enter the holy place. Hey, no, we are not at all maintaining the holiness, the sacredness of the place. Today, holiness in our life has been put aside. And goliness has come. If we don't have reverence for the Lord, we cannot say like Isaiah, here I am, send me, O Lord. When we don't have repentance, we cannot say, here I am, O Lord, send me. When we don't have love for the Lord, we cannot say, here I am, send me, O Lord. In order to say these words, in order to apply these words, and in order to supply these words, and in order to comply these words, we have to be cleansed. Isaiah was cleansed. Isaiah repented. He was cleansed. He was made whole. Now, after having been made clean, now he says, here I am. All of us need to be clean. All of us need to be made whole. All of us need to be shrugging off, shrugging off, shedding off the dirt through repentance. And then the Lord will ask, whom shall I send? Whom shall I send? Be arduous into our own lives. Let us take this sentence from the Lord. Whom shall I send? And let your answer be, let your answer be, Ong no jam, Ong jam. Everyone, here I am, send me your Lord. Louder. Don't be just carried away, swayed away by emotional alone. But very meaningful. The Lord is crying. The Lord is yearning for you. If you look at the Christianity, if you look at Christianity, and when you look at the other religion, what's the difference? In the other religion, the, in the other religion, it is human who is searching for God. Human who is searching for God. Human who is searching for God. But in Christianity, God is searching for human. God is searching for human. Give a I tapped enough. Yes, God is searching for you. God is searching for you.
This is exactly the Lord. Even the 99, he will leave aside and he will come in search of you. He will come in search of us. This is our God. This is our Lord. This is our master. And to this master in Philippians chapter 2 verse 10, let us now just listen to this Philippians chapter 2 verse 10 that very clearly says, every knee should bow at the name of Jesus. Every knee should bow at the name of Jesus. But we don't even there we don't even care who cares right okay philippians chapter 2 verse 10 my brother will read sankupar yes kumta ka kateng ujisu ka kho si barok kandam krup ka jong ki ba bening ka jong ki ba ka khando bat ka jong ki ba po ka khando every knee should bow at the name of jesus we sing, we sing so loud, we sing so clear, but do we do Matthew 7, 21 to 23, get set my brother. Not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. No. Not the one who cries out, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. But the one who does the will of my father, that's what. Now we sang, we sang, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. All the songs that we sang, absolutely fantastic, so, so dear songs. But do we do? Do I do? Do I do? The Lord is today asking us, go, do, do the will, do my will, do my will. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? So let your let your response be prompt, my dear young people. Holy Father says, you are the now of God. You are the now of God. Nothing without Him. Everything with Him. In Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 that says, with me you can do everything. Without me you can do nothing. So like Isaiah, let us go to the temple. And now this temple need not be the church that you would like to, which may be sometimes far away. Go to the temple. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16, very clearly says, you are the temple. You are the temple of the Lord. Go inside. Go inside. You need time to be one with oneself. You need, a you need time to be in silence. In silence with oneself. Then the Lord will answer. Then the Lord will answer. Today, fa be uh, very beautifully, Father Bernard was preaching to us on Sashkor. Snap, no? Snap. Yes, we need to listen to the Lord. We need to listen to the Lord. Then only this kind of answer will come out from us. You know, father was speaking about Albert Switzer. Albert Switzer from France who left everything, a, a very talented musician, a doctor, philosopher, theologian, what not, everything under the sun. He was the one who left everything and went to Africa for mission. And what would he do? He would, he would use, utilize the best of his, that musical talent that he had. To raise fund for, for Africa. For Africa. Now, this is the mission. In your life, in your own little, in your own little locality, in your own little parish, you have that very urgent duty. Do something for the church, my dear young people. Do you want Jesus? Do you want Jesus? Do you want Jesus? May I request our singers to kindly get ready. We need, we need Jesus. Without Jesus, our life is going to be very feeble life, frugal life, and a sickly life. It is said, it is said, spiritual sickness, spiritual sickness is more dangerous than physical sickness. Spiritual sickness is more dangerous than physical sickness. So we need Jesus. Now let's all come and answer to the Lord. Here I am. I will do your will. But before I answer, I need to examine. I need to examine myself. I need to examine myself. Put Jesus into our lives. This Jesus will take us higher. This Jesus will take us higher. And we become higher. We will become people different. We will become People who think differently. So let us tackle this inside with Jesus. Let us tackle this inside with Jesus. How much of evil is happening in us? 
in me, in you. Reflect. Contemplate. Contemplate. And finally, reciprocate. The Lord has given you this beautiful life. This life that you have is not, is not an ugly life. You know, in Isaiah chapter 43, verse 4, three things the Lord says. And I always like to tell this to the young people. The Lord says, you are precious. You are. All of you are. Likewise, let's all of us say, I am precious. Let's say. This is the prelude to saying. This is the prelude before you say, here I am, O Lord, send me. And the Lord says, you are important. You are. Louder, you are. Yes, we are important. You know, many of us are so, I mean, kind of young people who are with low self-esteem. Please, my dear young people, the Lord has said, you are precious. You are important. And the Lord says, I love you. I love you. The Lord says, I love you. If you want to answer to the Lord, first go to the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit will propel us. Holy Spirit will propel us. Helicopter is flying high because of the propeller, propeller, propeller. And if you still, you find you, it's not adequate, the Holy Spirit will compel us, impel us. So go to the Holy Spirit. Will you go to the Holy Spirit? Will you? Will you? But we have put the Holy Spirit in the back seat. This is what. And we have not put him inside. And we sing, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come with your, not fire, come with your Duma. Holy Spirit, come with your Duma. Come, Holy Spirit, fill me with your Duma. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, bro. This is what, this is what has darkened us. This is what has darkened us. We are children of light, not of darkness. We are children of light. And we are called to be ambassadors of Christ. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20, my brother, please get set. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20, that says, We are the light, children of light. light. The darkness is dispelled, and we are now called to be walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walking in the light of the Lord. That is ambassadors of Christ. You are representative of Christ. Unless I say, here I am, we cannot be representative of Christ. Are you ready to say, here I am, and I'm ready to be ambassador for Christ or ambassador of Christ? Am I shouting so much? Young yeah, no, mother, thank you. Ambassadors of Christ, whom, whom the Lord, the Lord is just, you know, look at what is the, what is the graphic about Isaiah? Now, Isaiah represents Israel. Isaiah represents Israel. Now, there is repentance of Israel happening. And now, Isaiah is now come to the Lord. Israel has come closer to the Lord. You are the new Israel. I am the new Israel. We all of us are new Israel. Unless and until we wash away, we cannot be anointed. We can be only disappointed. <laughs> We can only be disappointed. Let's sing a song as we, as we uh, hear to him calling each one of us. Here I am. And let your answer be, here I am. Send me, O oh Lord. Let's all just close our eyes and take a nap. Or take a nap or take a reflection. Yeah? You take a nap, I'll take a snap. Right? Okay, let's close our eyes. Sink. Let's go deep within. Very important, my friends. Can I not say yes to the Lord today? And let me, because I'm inflated, so I need to deflate all that is evil in me. And the Lord says to Isaiah, unless you shrug off, shed off, you cannot be sent. 
The same thing he says, Hey Isaiah, hey now of Israel. Hey new Isaiah, hey now of Israel. You are not tomorrow, now. You are the now of the church. anointed in you, you and he says Acts chapter 1 verse 8 Acts chapter 1 verse 8 receive the power of the Holy Spirit receive the power of the Holy Spirit unless and until you and I receive the power of the Holy Spirit we cannot become his witnesses so he says, receive the power of the Holy Spirit. Be my witnesses and go to the ends of the earth. Judea, Samaria, Jerusalem. Go to all these places. Not only confined to our zone alone. To Nongman Song, confinement to Nongman Song. Go wherever you are sent. The Lord wants you. He wants to send you to Maukarat. He wants you to be going to Marbisu. He wants you to be going to Ladrumbai, Clearyat. Go and grow there and glow there. Wherever you are, St. Francis de Sales, our heavenly patron, would say, Bloom where you are planted. Bloom where you are planted. Bloom. I'm not saying broom, broom. <laughs> broom where you are 
where you are planted. Bloom. Bloom! Bro, please read. Andrei, please adapt the kabur. And now, man, see him, but could you want here, Lord Jong P? But Prince Aki, young Ah, Jerusalem, Ah, Judea, Barok away, but as Samaria, but Shadu, but good, Kaperte. Give a big hand. Wow. Fantastic. Receive the Holy Spirit. Is it time? Five more minutes. Oh, yeah. Five more minutes I'm given. So don't say like, you know, in the parable we have uh, Matthew 21. Matthew 21 where it says, two sons, a man has two sons. And then the first one says to Papa when he asks, son, please go to the vineyard and work. He says, yes, I will go. But he doesn't go. The second one says, no, I will not go. But he relents and he goes. So now, who will enter the kingdom of God? First or second? Louder, first or second? How many times you and I have said, Ngalait ke papa, ngalait. But uh, after some time, jai tu. <laughs> we become lazy and say, hey, ngam late. Second one says, ngam late. Don boon kam mo. But he relents, he relents and he goes. Now the Lord says, my dear young people, even before you, the sinners, the prostitutes, the tax collectors will enter the kingdom of heaven. Don't think that we are Christians, we are Catholic, so we have prerogative. We have prerogative. We will be given the first place. Absolutely not. Who enters the kingdom of heaven? Who? 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 Who does the? Who does the? Who does the? Louder! Will of my father. I'm just telling you, not, not very bluntly, but I'm telling you in a very earnest manner as your own brother, as your own sister. Today, as the word of God was read, a clean blade, right? We say, the word of the Lord. And many of us don't respond. It's your duty to respond. Thanks be to God. Yes. Who will respond? I hear only priests were responding. And this is my duty as a priest to tell young people. Who will respond? The gospel to try. You have to respond. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In these, if we don't be serious, in these little ways, if we don't be, who will? And that is then only you can say, here I am. The Lord wants to hear your voice when you are not able to and respond to the readings that we have. How will you respond? Listen to the word of God. Respond to the word of God. This is the pharmacy. This is the medical. This is the, med this is, this is the medicine. This is everything. The light to our path. The light to our path. The foundation of Christianity. The foundation of Catholic faith is here. In James chapter 2 verse 14. Bro, please get set. James chapter 2 verse 14. What he says? What he says? Not everyone who says, Okay, I love you Lord. Faith alone is not enough. Faith alone is not enough. Faith alone is not enough. My Protestant or Baptist friend may say, faith, faith, faith will lead you to salvation. Faith will lead you to salvation. But the Catholic Church says, faith and good work, service. Yet up no. Service, service, service. Faith and service will lead us to salvation, will take us to salvation. Tapti, tapti. Yes. So my dear friends, that is where then we can say, here I am, send me. Here I am, send me. What profit it is if you have only faith but no good works. Serve the church. When you have love for the church, you serve the church. When you have love for yourself, you are so beautiful. The Lord has made us so beautiful. Please don't hate yourself. Please don't hate yourself. Please don't hate yourself. Life does not happen to us. It happens from us. The way you think, the way you think will determine your life. Come on, think good. Think good. We say, God is good. All the time, all the time, God is good. And this good has made us good. And this good has asked us to be thinking good. And then you will see. You know, Albert Switzer would say, 
success is not the key of key to happiness happiness is the key to success huh? success is not the key to happiness happiness is the key to success happiness is the key to success let's all be happy with ones don't compare yourself with others please don't compare yourself with others the moon the moon when it's time for the moon to shine it shines when it's time for the sun to shine, it shines. They play their own role. You and I have to play our own role. Please don't compare oneself with the other. Compare yourself with you. And you are so precious. You are so beautiful. And the Lord says, I love you. What a friend we have in Jesus. So my dear friends, I would like to wind up. And I keep saying this with a short. No, you have this amazing grace how sweet the sound right who wrote this who wrote this song him amazing grace from england john newton and how did it come how did it happen how did he write these lyrics or what made him to write the lyrics he was a slave trader he was a slave trader he used to get uh, slaves from africa and sell them in higher price which would profit him which would profit him and so, as he was one day sailing for, 12, for 11 hours with all these slaves in the, in the, what do you call, the ship, then there came, there came a heavy, what do you call, heavy storm, heavy storm. And when this storm came, this boat was tossed, this boat was, the ship was tossed. And already somewhere falling, helter skelter, falling here and there. And then he knelt down and he cried out, Oh God, Lord, have mercy on me. When you have mercy on me, Lord, I promise you, I will never again slave trade. I will never again slave trade. I will do your will. And now he becomes a minister. He becomes minister of God and he proclaims the word of God. And that is where he writes, God saved me. Amazing grace. Let your story be this. Let your life story be this. That is where then you are. Here I am. Send me. Finally, my friends. One more and then. You know, I was reading this book called Who Will Cry When You Die by Robin Sharma, a leadership writer. A lawyer as well. He was in his book writing uh, Discover Your Calling, the first chapter. He said, you know, my father said, child, when you came into this world, you cried. You? When, when a child is born into this world, it comes laughing? Does he or she comes laughing? Does he or she comes laughing? No. Child, when you came into this world, you cried. Now live your life in such a manner that when you die and go from this world, depart from this world, the world cries while you rejoice. That means you have done something as as sons and daughters of God. Leave a legacy. Leave a legacy. Leave a legacy. Last week I was in Kohima, Archdi Kohima Diocese Youth Convention in uh, Lazami. And, I, and they were reflecting on the theme, we are the now of God. You are the now of God. I think the Lord is calling all of us to be now of God. To leave today itself a very good legacy for the younger generation if you don't go to the church your brothers and sisters and even your sons and daughters later will not go leave a legacy say that here i am i will do your will so my friends aspire to inspire before you expire aspire to inspire before you expire god bless you long live sscym long live Shillong Archdiocese Catholic Youth Movement. Long live youth and you are the now of the church. So go, grow, glow.